Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. This video request came to us from Dave out of Vancouver, Washington, and he wants to know how to use the RBL filter that's built into a SonicWell firewall to block some of the uh, spam emails that are getting into his Exchange server on his LAN network. To do so, what we'll do is we'll log into the admin console, go to Anti-Spam, RBL filter, and the first thing we want to do is go ahead and enable the real-time blacklist blocking. Next you can specify what DNS server settings to use. Uh, by default it will inherit or use the DNS settings that's already assigned to your WAN interface or you can change it and set up your own DNS servers. The next section is we need to add what uh, real-time blacklist services we want to use. So to do that, click on Add. And one in particular that we find is pretty effective is the one from Spam House. So here's what happens. When an email flows into the SonicWolf firewall, it's going to run through this RBL filter and send the uh, information about the email to spamhouse.org. They'll check it in their database and then they'll kick back one of several different kinds of responses. They would tell you, you know, this email is coming from a open, known open relay server, or it's on a bad server list, or even uh, an open proxy server. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and tell the Sonic Wall if we get any of these responses to go ahead and block them. So we can select them all by clicking on the block all responses. After that's set up, want to go ahead and enable the RBL domain and click OK. So now that we've got the service enabled, we've got our DNS set up and we're using the the free spamhouse.org uh, RBL service, we can scroll down, we can create a list of email servers that we don't want to have run through uh, the spam house or through the real-time blacklist uh, because you know maybe a customer and maybe they've got issues with their email server but we trust their email so here you have the option to go ahead and whitelist add their IP address in there or we can create a blacklist if you know of an IP address of a mail server out there that keeps sending you spam but isn't getting blocked by spam house you can go ahead and add that into the list okay after all that's set up just select accept and now the service is running you can check by going down to, on the left hand side, go to log, view log, and set your category to RBL, apply filter, and if you wait long enough you'll start seeing notices coming in. Here's an example, uh, an inbound connection was blocked. So now we know that that's working. Okay. Uh, we hope you found this video useful. If you have any video requests, please let us know. All right. Have a great day.